In this video, I'm going to show you five EQ tricks that will make your vocals sound clean, clear, crispy, and remove any unwanted harsh frequencies that are destroying majority of bedroom recorded vocals. So my first EQ trick is what I like to call D bass. What happens is you think you have a good mix on your headphones and computer and you go to your car or do a live show and it sounds like shit. This is going to prevent that and even though you don't hear the bass in your vocal, it is there. What we do is double click down here and this is going to create a low cut. Now so much room for your bass and your beat to really stand out because what happens Happens. If you leave this section of the bass in your vocal with the bass in the song, even though you don't hear it on headphones, what's going to happen on car speakers and at show speakers is it's going to create phasing with your bass and to distort and it's going to sound terrible. I've seen it happen way too many times. By the way, make sure to stay to the end because I have a special bonus trick that a lot of people aren't using that's really going to elevate your vocals and I have a special gift for you if you make it to the end. My second EQ trick is is called adding body. This is going to really help make the vocal sound full in this lower range. So we're gonna add a point right above this cut and we're going to increase and we're gonna find out where that warmth is or where we need to add some thinness. I know I've been acting strange, I know I changed, but I just want you to know I learned from my mistakes. My brother of the day, he died to run away. Nice, so that gave it a little bit of warmth and yes, it sounds a little bit inconsistent, but if you guys would be interested in a vocal compression tutorial, let me know down below. If we get 500 likes in this video, I'll start making the vocal compression cheat sheet and video series, so let me know. So the third EQ trick that I use on every single vocal is called de-boxing. Now when you're in a regular room in a bedroom studio, there's a lot of reflections bouncing off the walls. So this creates some boxiness in the vocal that causes the vocal to sound a little bit more cheap. So we're gonna add another point, it's called a bell shape and we're gonna make the cube a bit smaller Baby, I've been going through right there it is so around the 800 Hertz you're gonna find that lower quality sound and all we're gonna do is bring that down three decibels I know I've been acting strange but I just want you to know I learned from my mistakes my brother the other day all right so that really got rid of that harsh frequency that is a problem child for a lot of vocals I hear. By the way, question of the day is what music software do you use? I use Logic Pro to mix and engineer vocals. I know there's a lot and I wanna start working in some other ones, so let me know down below. My fourth EQ trick is called Clarity. So this is a frequency range where you can really make your vocal sound more clear and audible where people can hear every single word. So we're gonna make another bell-shaped curve. This is the most prominent area for a vocal to really stand out in the mix. Okay. No, I've been acting strange, I know I changed, but I just want you to know I learned from my mistakes. My brother the other day, he died around the way. Wow, do you hear that? Holy crap! I know I've been acting strange, I know I changed, so, but I just want you to know I learned from my mistakes. My brother the other day, he died around the way. Oh, that frequency range? Start trying it out, that's been my secret sauce for a lot of vocals. My Fifth EQ trick is called dynamic EQing. Now this is very helpful for things like DSing and controlling harsh frequencies that ruin vocals. What we're going to do is make another bell shaped and we're gonna small the cue like this and we're gonna boost it up 10 and we're going to search for where those harsh frequencies are, okay? So we solo it. Right there, you can even see the S's bounce up even further and you can hear them in your ear. So check this out. You see that? You see how it bounces when the S's come out? Now we wanna just bring that down and we're gonna turn on Make Dynamic. And we're going to bring this down. I know I've been acting strange, I know I changed, but I just want you to know I learned from my mistakes. My brother the other day, he died around the way. I don't think a lick's so good. By the way, if you're liking this tutorial so far, smash that like button down below. I want you to know I learned from my mistakes. My brother the other day, he died around the way. I don't think a lick's so good. My nice, so that really controlled some harshness that ruined a lot of vocals. So my bonus EQ trick is called EQ automation. I love doing this because we're going to EQ the beat 
to make the vocals more exciting. So check this out. So we go to your one track instrumental. We're gonna go on it, we're gonna add an EQ. Doesn't even matter what EQ you use at this point, just use any stock EQ. You're gonna turn on your high slope right here. We're gonna make sure this last band on the high end is turned on and we're gonna turn on automation like that and we're gonna change the beat track from read to touch and while this is playing, I'm just going to move this EQ slope over to take out the highs. I know I've been acting strange, I know I changed, but I just want you to know I learned from my mistakes. Lost my bro the other day, he died to run away. I don't think a lick so good. Lately I've been going through it, people want new shit And they tryna use me, I act like I'm cool But I already knew it, yeah, I've been through it You learn a lot, living at the bottom next to sewer Nice, so we got that automation, it literally printed it right there It already did the work for us Now, when I got rid of those highs I noticed I heard a little bit of distortion in the bass. So this is perfect opportunity to turn touch off, okay? Cause that's already, the automation's already printed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this low slope right here and we're gonna bring it down three decibels to control that bass a little bit more because with producers putting beats on YouTube, they're not always the best engineers and that can create a lot of problems that make your vocals sound weak. I know I've been acting strange, I know I changed, but I just want you to know I learned from my mistakes. Lost my bro the other day, he died to run away. I don't think a lick so good on my pay. Lately I've been going through it, people want new shit, and they tryna use me. I act like I'm cool, but I already knew it. Yeah, I've been through it. You learn a lot living at the bottom next to sewer. We have some free gifts for you guys. We have a vocal EQ cheat sheet that you can download below. And if this video gets to 500 likes, I'll make sure to start working on the vocal compression cheat sheet that will really tighten up this vocal and, and sit perfectly every time. So if you're interested, make sure to smash that like button. Comment down below what is your favorite trick from the five plus the bonus. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.